Hello, and this is our final section on the uh, article on on uh, Iliad, the Iliad of Homer, and this is a, a further description of of Schliemann's uh, excavation of of Troy, and we're starting right at this point. Wir kommen über ein right there, and we're going to the end of the paragraph. Our aim is to do this within uh, eight to ten minutes. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Um, CJ, are you there? Yes, good. I'm ready. So he's. Uh, we're gonna. Re I'm gonna read the sentences out loud, and you'll. Uh, CJ will, will repeat after me, and please read with him, so you get a sense of the flow of the, of the sentence and how to pronounce the words, and then uh, I'll ask him individual questions about the grammar, and that way you'll be able to unpack the grammar yourself and and sort of put together as we work together, uh, how you would translate or how you would render these sentences. Okay, let's read some together. Starting off. Uh, wir kamen überein, dass ich der einst Treue ausgraben wollte. Everybody? Wir kamen überein, dass ich der einst Treue ausgraben wollte. Okay, so common means we came, uh, which means in agreement. So we, we, we came to an agreement that I, and, and here in this case, uh, the past tense of the verbs uh, can also serve uh especially the, the simple past can also serve as the as the form a form of the subjunctive which i believe it is here that i would want that i would want someday der einst someday or sometime in the future to excavate troy so here troy is the direct object of ausgraben okay let's go on schliemann's kindheitsträume führten ihn im alter von 48 jahren nach Troja. Everybody? Schliemann's Kinderheitsträume führten ihn im Alter von uh, 48 Jahren nach Troja. Ja. No, no, 40. 40. Ja, 48 Jahre. That's right. So here, this is a compound noun, Kindheitsträume. Notice the S is oftentimes, is very often the letter that combines two separate nouns. So Träume or our dreams and kindheit is obviously uh, childhood so you could say um, dreams of childhood or you could say childhood dreams either way and what's the main verb there uh, CJ Fierten. good and that is that past tense or present tense past tense past tense good and the strong verb to, to lead where's the direct object him in in right here so the core sentence is the childhood dreams led him and then in in an age of 48 years uh, to Troy. So uh, you, you want to read, um, let's see, uh, just read the first two sentences there again. Okay. Uh, we came to the agreement that I, at some point, would excavate Troy. Mm -hmm. uh, Schliemann's childhood dreams led him at, at the age of 48 years to Troy. Good. Let, and let's go on. Er nahm die Ilias als Kompass und grub genau dort, wo nach den Ange Angaben Homers das antike Treue gestanden haben musste. So, uh, let's see. The first thing is um, up, to the, up to the un, because always you resolve the main, look for the main verb before a coordinated conjunction. So, where's the main verb there? Uh, nam. Remember, it's three principal parts. Nemen nam genomen. Nicely done. Nemen nam genomen. Uh, easier than Greek, having to recite six principal words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when they all, when half of them don't follow any logical order. That's right. Yeah. So he yeah. took, he took, and, and here's the direct object. He took the Iliad uh, as his, as, uh, as a compass or as his compass, and this is graben group gegraben, uh, and he dug precisely there. And then uh, go on, wo er, and then um, where, and then give me the verb complex of that um, relative clause there. Uh, this would be haben musste. Yeah, but. Gestanden, gestanden haben musste. Yeah, this whole thing is the verb complex here. Where, uh, and then what's the direct, what's the subject? Das antique Troya. Yeah, the, the, the ancient Troy, right? where, and then nach, in this case, means according to. Um, according to the information, uh, uh, 
according to the information of Homer. Uh, a little um, little di slight digression, but I sure. think not to waste too much time, but I think my one of my professors said, who she's an archaeologist, mm -hmm. said, I, I think it might have been Schliemann she was talking about. She said, did, did he memorize the entire Iliad? And, and he, he would go about looking for it without needing to have the text or to have to even research the text because he had it all right there to call upon Gee, to find it. Great. I don't know. I don't know if that was him, but I, it, I, I think, I think it was. Uh huh. Interesting point about how to find it that way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so where, and then Mustahaben Gestan. So this means to stand where it must have stood. Uh, that's how we would translate that verb complex. Where, according to the information of Homer, uh, antique Troy, uh, uh, Troy must have stood. Okay. So let's see. Uh, auf, let's read some more. Auf einem Hügel entdeckte er uh, Mauern einer durch Brand zerstörten Stadt. Everybody? Auf einem Hügel entdeckte er Mauern einer durch Brand zerstörten Stadt. So where's the verb come? Where's the verb there, um, CJ? Entdeckte. And that means? He discovered. He discovered. Okay. And the air is right there. He discovered. And what's the direct object? Um, Mauern. Good. So Mauern, the walls of A. Now here we have a, a, a what we call an extended attribute construction or an extended adjective construction. And where does it start and where does it end in that sentence? Starts after Ina, mm -hmm. ends at at Stadt. Good. Uh, I, I, I guess I haven't erased this, so uh, we were analyzing this. That was this. really convenient. <laughs> we, we were analyzing this first. This is one way to, to demarcate where it begins and end. So it begins with a preposition after an, an einer, or a, what they call a, a, um, a limiting word. And then it ends when you have a present or past participle or an adjective. So um, on, a, on a hill, he discovered walls of a, how would you? Resolve that. Of a city destroyed by fire. Good. Destroyed by, or you could say which was or destroyed. Burning. Through, uh, the, through burning. Or but, yeah, th through a fire or through burning. Good. Um, so let's see. Why don't, you, um, why don't you translate from here all the way down to, to here, just to give a little context and flow. Where, where was the first here? Start from the very beginning. Wir kommen über ein. Oh, okay. Well, we came to an agreement or, you know, to agreement that I would excavate Troy, yeah, you know, at some point. Mm -hmm. um, Schliemann's childhood dreams <laughs> led him at the age of 48 years to Troy. Mm -hmm. He followed, I, I can't see it anymore. He, he took the Iliad as a compass. Mm -hmm. or right. He took the Iliad as a compass and, and um, dug dug exactly there, mm -hmm. where, according to the information of Homer, the antique or the ancient Troy must have stood. Great, great. Keep going. Um, on a hill, he discovered walls of a city destroyed by fire, and, mm -hmm. and that's where we stopped. Right? Good. Let's do the last sentence. Er war überzeugt, dass Troja, sorry, dass Troja, Homer's, gefunden gefunden zu haben. Heute meinen Wissenschaftler, dass diese Ruinen noch älter als, als das echte Treue sein müssen. Okay, so the first sentence here. Er war, Do you read it? Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. Thank you for the okay. question. Go ahead. Er war überzeugt, dass Treue Homers gefunden zu haben. Heute meinen Wissenschaftler, dass diese Ruinen noch älter als das echte Treue sein müssen. Mm -hmm. Älter. <laughs> okay. Did I say uh, alter. <laughs> yeah. So he, he was he was convinced uh, that uh, and then what's the verb complex after that? Uh, gefunden zu haben. Which means he was convinced to have found. Good. He was found to to have found uh, the the Troy of Homer as opposed to maybe some other uh, level or something of uh, of um, level of civilization, the Troy of Homer. And, and uh, go on, did you just translate? Uh, today, 
uh, this would be like most, right? Most scientists. No, no. Today, scientists. Believe... Oh, I keep to... today. Scientists believe that these ruins um, must be still, you know, older than the genuine Troy. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Very well done. So I want to I want to thank uh, and congratulate you. Um, CJ on such a good translation and, and analysis. And I also want to congratulate everyone who's been listening, congratulate everyone who's been listening to this uh, recording. Uh, you've done a great job in reading and following aloud uh, the, the, these sentences and also analyzing and translating them. So best of luck uh, and hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.